Hey everybody, my name is Chris Ponsalon. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna break down this song. And before we get started, I would just like to say that all of the vocals on this song have tons of auto-tune. So if you're not a fan of auto-tune, if you don't like the way it sounds, if you think that it sounds like garbage, whatever your opinion about auto-tune is, if it's negative, then you're probably not going to enjoy this video. Now let's get started. So about a month ago, I was going through Splice and I found this sample from one of my favorite sound design teams of all time, Origin Sound. Instantly fell in love with the flute, so I threw it into Ableton, slowed down the tempo to 75, started playing around with different drums, different drum textures. Then I remembered the homie L. Dre sent me some drums a while back, and I ended up using those in this track. This was enough for me to get an idea going, so I duplicated the loops over a bunch of times, and I recorded a reference. Here's what my vocal chain looks like. I have auto-tune live by Antares, some reverb, a bit of delay, some compression, one knob brighter, an EQ, and a limiter. Then after recording for like seven minutes, uh, I took that chunk of vocals, started to listen to the entire thing, took the parts that I liked, took out the parts that I didn't like, and then it was easier for me to figure out what could be the verse, what could be the pre-chorus, and what could be the hook. What the hook gonna be? So much easier to come up with the melodies first and then fill it in with words later. Everybody has a different process, but I found that this is the fastest way for me to work and uh, the fastest way for me to finish a song. Then from there, after finding all the parts that I liked, I came up with this as the hook. Then I layered that with a high vocal, like a falsetto type of vocal, and also a deeper vocal. Once I finished the hook, I moved on to the verses. So for the first part of the first verse, I have this. For the heavy delay on the first part of the first part, I automated these two delays. Do you even know the feeling? Red line, line, line. Speed. Speed. And then for the layered vocals, I have a high layer. Then I duplicated that and transposed it down an octave and also threw on a guitar amp on the lower octave vocals, heavily inspired by Travis Scott. So throughout the entire verse, the main vocal is sung in this range, but on top of that is a higher range layer. And I just kept that in the back cause I liked the way the texture sounded, but I didn't want that to be overpowering. Protocol, you know what to say. Everything that we've been doing, I'ma take it to the grave. For the second verse, I'd like to point out this part right here. Just cut the deepest. Do you even know the feeling? If you don't keep it, do you even know the feeling? So you can hear that first, do you even know the feeling? And it sounds really big compared to the second. And that's because I harmonized on the first part. And then when it came to harmonizing for the second part, I just couldn't figure out the notes to hit. So I just ended up leaving it empty. The deepest. Do you even know the feeling? If you don't keep it, do you even know the feeling? After sitting on this song for a couple weeks, I decided to add some 808s. This is what the verse 808s sound like. Then I added some ad libs to the last hook just to hype it up more. And that's pretty much the entire song. When I completed it, I reached out on Twitter and Instagram to see if anybody was interested in mixing the song for me. And prior to this experience, I've never had anybody mix my own music. Um, I've kind of just took that role on myself, but I just wanted to experience it for the first time and see if it could help me out. Also, I wanted to see if it would change my relationship with the song because when I'm mixing personally, I listen to the song like a million times and by the end of the mixing and mastering process, I'm just 
I'm, I'm burnt out from the song and I, I don't really enjoy it the same way that I did before. So I wanted to see if sending the song to um, somebody else to mix would improve my relationship with the music and see if I would have more of an attachment to that song. I ended up hiring Alessandro from Dope Boys Music to help me out with the mix and it really only took a few revisions for him and I to get the song where I wanted it. And what I took away from that process was being super specific with what you want and telling the person exactly what you want just makes the process so much easier. And saying this out loud, it sounds like common sense, but I didn't really understand that until I started working with Alessandro. Because I had a certain vision for the song and I knew exactly how I wanted all of the vocals to sound, when he sent me that first revision, I knew exactly the tweaks that I wanted him to make. And I was very specific with certain things like turn up the reverb this amount, uh, cut back on the delay on this part, cut back on the feedback on this part, stuff like that. Just being very specific with exactly what I want and um, I think it made the mixing process go a lot smoother. And obviously I could have saved a bunch of money by just doing it myself, but in the end, I feel that I do have a stronger connection to the song because I didn't listen to it a million times, critiquing it, adjusting all the vocals, hating my life because the mix didn't sound the way I wanted it to. And now I just absolutely love the song. And that is pretty much uh, how I finished this song. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was insightful. T I hope it was insightful. And um, if you would like the stems to the song, all you have to do is screenshot your phone while listening to the song on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, wherever you can listen to the song. Go and screenshot your phone while listening to it. DM me the picture on Instagram or Twitter and I will send you the stems to the project. More music coming soon. Shout out to everybody who supports me using AutoTune. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I like it, okay? And if you don't like it, then I'm, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with you having your own opinion about music.